So when your clients are logged into their client portal, this is what their view is going to look like. I think right away you'll notice that the icons are over to the left side instead of across the top the way they would be for your login. They have their nice dashboard. All the widgets are very large, easy for them to see, quick access to all of that information that they'll need. Going down the left side for the icons. So these are the only areas that they're going to have access to in Central Reach. You'll see the dashboard very similar to your login that's going to bring them here. A team, this is going to be the same as the contacts module for you. We're calling it a team in the client's portal. This is going to give them a list of the employees that they are connected to. Next, we'll come down to messaging, where they'll be able to send HIPAA compliant messages to uh, back and forth from your employees. If your company does not subscribe to the messaging portal, when they go to send a message, it will just let them know that that's not currently a feature that you participate with. Files is just the same for you. It'll be any file that they are shared with. The billing module, they'll be able to come in, take a look at any of their invoices, their timesheets, and any timesheets that they need to sign, the same way the client portal functioned before. Schedule, they'll be able to take a look at any of those appointments that you have made visible to them or have not hidden. The tasks module is going to be very similar to yours, just with a little bit more limited functionality. And then the clinical portion will they'll be able to see those learning trees, their program books. You can make them uh, view only or give them edit permissions just depending on what you're using them for with your organization. For giving your clients access to the portal, uh, you're able to kind of go about it a couple different ways. What I like to recommend is you Tell them they can go to our website, members.centralreach.com, and choose they forgot their login information. They can enter that email address that you have associated with their account, and they'll be able to reset their password for themselves. You can also set up a password for them and just make sure that you let them know that they're going to want to change that. Okay, great. So next, I want to move on to the appointment. Previously, all of your clients would see any appointment they were scheduled with in Central Reach. The new functionality is going to allow you to choose to hide appointments from the client's view at the time of creation. Going into the actual organization view for getting this scheduled, you're gonna go about it the same way that you would schedule an appointment. You're just gonna have that added option to hide it from view when you're creating it. It is important to note that you are only going to have the option to hide an appointment when you are actually creating it originally. If you make an appointment visible to a client, it will always be visible to the client. This also applies for any appointments that are already scheduled in your Central Reach calendar. Because they were already visible to the client, they will remain visible. You'll see it looks just like the standard appointment scheduling screen now. The only difference is once we add our patient and our provider, we have the option to turn the visible to client toggle off hiding it from the client portal view. You do have the option, once that you have made an appointment and chosen to keep it hidden from the client, to make it visible again. You can do this by going to your view as grid. You can notice here we have a special icon as an eye. This is going to show you any appointments that are not visible to the client. What you can do is you can select those appointments and you'll notice there's a new button across the top to make that visible to the client. And again, once you make it visible, it will always be visible. This icon will also appear 
on the calendar screen right in that appointment window, letting you know that that appointment is not visible to the clients. Give everyone a second to ask any questions. Okay, great. So now I wanna go back to that client portal and I wanna show you the features for signing those timesheets from the client portal for your parents. They're gonna to navigate to that billing module. It's gonna to default to the invoices portion. You'll notice across the top there are a few tabs. You can see all of the timesheets. And then one more tab over is gonna list out just the unsigned timesheets for you. Here's where you can come in, select the timesheets that they you still need to sign. You'll be able to do that right here. Okay, great. You still have the option uh, to sign the timesheets at the time of service. If that's how your therapists render the appointments, they can just hand their device over to the parents, let them sign it. Uh, but you also have this workflow available if you're not able to get that parent signature at the time of the appointment. Inside of the billing tab, you're also going to have uh, the option for your parents to pay their invoices directly through the portal if you have your account linked with your merchant services provider. They're able to come directly to the billing. It'll default to this invoices screen. They can see any invoices that are owed. They can download to view the itemized invoice. They also have the option right next to it to pay. Inside of this option, they're going to have the ability to store any credit card they want to keep on file. It is stored in a PCI compliant way, only with the last four of the credit cards showing after they've entered that information in. You're able to add new, uh, delete any cards just with this manage cards tab over to the right. Once they have the correct credit card they'd like to use to pay for, they're able to select that. Enter in the CVC just for security and verification and then pay their invoice. This is going to automatically apply that to that billing line in the organization account for you. Okay, awesome. You do have the option to make client invoices visible and payable. Those are both things that you will need to turn on from the organization account. So they don't see an invoice until you're ready for them to see it. And they don't have the option to pay for it through the portal unless you want to provide that to them. Both of those options come standard um, as soon as you link your merchant services into Central Reach through authorize.net or PayPal Pro. In the files module, you have the option to restrict what this client sees from the share tab of the file through the organization account. If it's not something that you want them to see, simply remove their access. Very similar to the access for the learning trees in program books. In the learning tree, if you select the learning tree options, you're able to give them no access, read only access, or edit access. Additionally, you are able to restrict what employees your client is able to see on their team view. To do this, you're going to create a permission group within the organization account. Let me go back to our organization. We do go ahead and give you a system permission group for hidden contacts. 
the only thing that you're going to want to enable in the permissions section of this group is the very top toggle to hide employee from client portal. From there, you will navigate to the user section and add in any user that you wish to hide. Once you've done this, this employee will no longer be visible in that team view from the client portal. This is gonna be most useful for hiding employees that you need to have connected to your client, but they don't necessarily need to view as a part of the team. For example, maybe your biller or your scheduler. Okay, just letting Glenna get to a couple of these questions before we move on. And yes, you do have the option to turn off the visibility for those invoices or or the option to pay for them simply with the toggles from the invoices screen. Right from here. Currently, your invoices will need to be paid in full when being paid from the parent portal. If you have a parent who needs to make partial payments, the best way to go about doing this is to create two separate invoices and split the billing entries due across the two invoices. So then they can pay each invoice in full separately at separate times if necessary your parents are going to have access to the help section of Central Reach just like you do. They'll be able to click on their name up in the top left-hand corner. When they select Get Help, it is gonna take them directly to the help sections that are applicable for the client portal. You'll have access to this from your organization account as well. If you wanted to take a look and see exactly what the instructions for your clients look like. You can see we have accessing the portal, some basic navigation information, how they're able to manage the information within their client portal, how they can set up notifications for their client portal. This is going to allow them to receive email and text notifications for messages and tasks. They can also set up their availability in the client portal that they can manage, letting you know when and when they are not available for appointments. It's going to give them an overview of how they can view and send messages, how they can preview, download, share, and upload files, how they can add and view activity call and notes, how they'll navigate that billing menu, for viewing and paying their invoices, as well as signing timesheets from the client portal. They'll be able to navigate the scheduling menu, view, create, and manage tasks. They'll also be able to update their credit card information for any marketplace purchases they might want to make from the client portal. You'll notice in the handouts section of this webinar that I have two handouts listed there for you. These are going to be the flyers, kind of one page information that you can hand out to your, your parents, your clients, that gives them kind of a brief rundown. There's one for any parents who were using the existing client portal, it's gonna give them just kind of the updated functionality, what's different. And then there's one for first time client users as well. Those are also available on our help site. If you don't happen to grab them during this meeting, you'll be able to come into the Central Reach help site and if you just type client portal flyers, those will come up for you as well. That is about everything that we have that's new in our client portal for you. I'm just gonna take a look at some of these questions and see if there's anything that I can share with you guys that Glenna wasn't able to get to. You give me just a minute to go through these. 
Okay, it looks like someone might want to know where you can set up your merchant services account. If you use authorize.net or PayPal Pro, you're able to add that information into Central Reach. You're able to charge credit cards from the organization portal as well as the client portal. You'll come into your billing module. I'm so sorry, you'll come into your dashboard, your profile your settings. You'll just come down to additional settings and you can add your merchant services information here. Once you've added this information in, the pay option will be available to your clients. Let's see what else Glenna has. And yes, those invoices are, you're able to choose individually which ones you would like visible to the client. The default is that they are not visible. You must actually go in and turn them on. Once you generate an invoice, they'll be listed here for you. You can come in and toggle them over to visible and payable separately. Okay. Yes, if you do hide employees, they are only hidden from that team view right here. If your parents know the name of someone and they type it into the messages field when they are sending a message, it will still populate and they will be able to send the message. Hiding is only specifically for the team view, not for a functionality across the board. The way that you invoice the clients are still the same. Yes, if an invoice is paid outside of Central Reach, you can just turn that pay toggle button off and leave the visible button on so that they can still see it. You can also generate a new invoice showing the payment and choose to make that invoice visible instead. Yes, you're still able to bulk sign the notes as long as you're referring to signing on the timesheet and not inside of an actual note. That will just be from the billing tab and unsigned timesheets. For the files module access, you are able to remove the share from the client if you do not wish for them to see it. You can also lock the file as a medical record if you would like them to be shared, but do not wish for the parent to have any editing permissions. For making appointments visible, if you have originally made them, uh, created the appointment as hidden, you are able, um, let me go back to the organization, you're able to update those in bulk from the view as grid section of the scheduling module. You'll be able to come here, select any appointments that you have created as hidden. Once you make your selections, you can select make visible to client and it will automatically turn those appointments on to be visible from the client portal. I'll give everyone a few more minutes to type those questions in. And just so everyone knows this webinar is being recorded, you will be able to come back and watch it later. If anyone in your organization wasn't able to attend, you'll be able to give them the link to the recording. If you have any questions that you come up with after this webinar, please reach out to your customer success lead. They'll be able to answer any questions that you might have, go over anything with you again that you maybe need a refresher on. Please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Just gonna check with Glenna, make sure there are no more questions that we can go over live that she wasn't able to get to. Okay, awesome. So that's all that we have for this afternoon. Thank you everyone so much for joining. Like I said, please reach out to us with any questions. Those handouts are available to you in the handout section of this webinar. They're also available in the help site. Just search for client portal flyers. Thanks so much everyone, have a great day.